Well, we all know we've been doing takeout for quite some time now, but how healthy are we being about it? Or are you going through the fast food every Is single time? Okay? Well, I want to bring in nurse practitioner, Terry Melhoff with Salt Lake Community College. Miss Terry, hi, and good to have you back on the show. Hi. It's good to be back. Okay, I have been so terrible about my takeout. And I'm usually a pretty healthy person, but I've really struggled this year. So we're gonna get to that in one second, how to make it healthier. But before we do that, you guys have a full clinic for Salt Lake Community College students and faculty. Yeah, we have three. So three campuses have clinics, Jordan, South City, and the Redwood Campus all have medical clinics. Wow, pretty amazing though. And if you're going there, what a convenient way to be able to just go to the doctor right there. So, Absolutely. okay, you've got five, tips for us on how to make takeout healthier. Where do we start? So let's start with eliminating breads, pasta, and fried potatoes, because those are really the most common drivers of modern chronic illness. And you're gonna replace those with things that are more nutrient dense starches. So carrots, squashes, sweet potatoes, turnips that have been like baked or mashed. Okay, which I'm going to do, I pre-quarantine, I was really good about the carrot thing, post quarantine and all during it, I have been really good about the potato chips. <laughs> so, I'm going to add that. All right. What's tip number two? Tip number two is make half of your plate green or like from the rainbow, like non-starchy vegetables and then protein and a little bit of healthy fat. So healthy fats are things like avocados, nuts, olive oil, things of that nature. And most restaurants are happy to take like a burger plate and take it apart, take the bun off and put the contents of that burger or sandwich over a green salad. And that's a really great right. alternative. That's a great idea and a good reminder. Okay, serving size is something that I think a lot of us struggle with at times. Yeah, they're huge. <laughs> um, so split them. And and if, if, you, if you split, I think that's really nice. If you have what you're eating for yourself, then you need to pay attention to your body's cues of fullness. And you right. don't do that by like shoveling it in as fast as possible. You really have to chew slowly, enjoy every bite, socialize, like make it an event. Yep, 100%. Now tip number four, avoid the soda. No soda, please no soda. Yep. Just drink no the soda. water. I just don't have anything 100%. else to say about that. Just stop with the soda. <laughs> I'm with you on the soda thing. I can totally get behind that one. All right. And what about tip number five? So dressings and sauces are often from restaurants are often made with industrial seed oils like canola and vegetable and soybean. And our bodies don't love those. So if you bring something home and it needs like some kind of a sauce, you can use a primal kitchen brand sauce from your own kitchen, or you can make your own salad dressing. My favorite is just olive oil and lemon juice with some garlic. It's, it's all you need really. 100%. And I'm notorious for just doing lemons in a pinch because it's just easy and simple. So yeah. Terry, these are such great tips. Thank you so much. And if people want more information, where can they go? So I like the Institute for Functional Medicine, ifm.com, and you can get all things health related there. Fabulous. Terry, great to see you. We'll see you again soon. Okay, thanks.